My brand as ODB had developed throughout these 19 years I've been wrestling. I've always, um, I basically became became my lifestyle, my brand did. And when I was wrestling, I'm always, I've always been a big griller, big partier, hanging out. I've not, I'm not a chef. I'm just me and I, lo I love, the, f the food thing just came from being around people. That's what I loved and I was thinking, I would love to do this for a living, but I didn't really know how. And I got my own barbecue sauce and I was leaving TNA, I was kind of leaving wrestling. So that was gonna be my whole new thing. I packed up my Airstream trailer, put my logo on the side and I was heading to every single barbecue festival around the country. Thank God my pro wrestling obviously helped me get the name out there, get the barbecue sauce, all that out there. But it was rough, I mean, I was doing it all myself. I ain't making the money like I used to. I was like, I gotta, I gotta make something happen. And someone came up to me and they're like, why don't you open up a food truck? I was like, well, that's kind of a good idea, but I need to know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> People think, oh, a food truck, that'd be fun to do. I'll just drive down the street, open up your window, and start selling. It's, no. I mean, just to get the food truck up and running, you know, you need permits, you need licensing, you need the health inspector stops by, making the menu, where do I go? How, can I park there? I have to have permission to go here. And then someone just sat me down and said, keep it simple, people are coming to see me. That's why I called it ODB's meet and greet. People are coming to see me, they want to interact, they want to take pictures, have some fun. So I'm not just another food trucker. I actually get out of my food truck, talk to people, but I'm also cooking it all. It's a one woman show. I'm cooking it all, I'm prepping the food. It takes me 14 hours to cook all my meat, making my own coleslaw, beans. I mean, it's, it's a homemade, homemade food truck. <laughs> when I was at StarCast, like people were waiting in line for me to open up my food truck. I'm like, you guys are waiting for me, for my food? I'm like. That's, that's freaking badass. <laughs> that gets me excited, and that's what I love what I do, because I love entertaining in and outside the ring. Now that I'm not wrestling much, it's all about the food truck. Oh boy. Well, I just got home from StarCast, one of my biggest events. Took a few days off to recoup, and all of a sudden I, my phone's ringing, it's about midnight. So I get the phone call saying, your food truck's on fire. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And I drove, I literally beat the fire trucks there. I'm driving by the fire station and they're just pulling out. So I beat those guys there, I get there, the cops are there. And all I see is like, oh, my whole life, I'm just like, shit. I'm just sitting back watching and just like, I wanted to throw up and it was, ugh. Yeah, it was, that was rough. <laughs> I just came off, you know, I'm like, I was just getting my food truck started and it was just, Seeing it all go up, I'm like, you never know. I mean, just the thing you built and you're just like looking at it, you're like, wow, it's, it's, it was all gone and it is all gone. And it was, uh, it was rough. Just all that hard work and I've never um, was that type of person to ask for help. I always just said, I will figure it out and, you know, do what I can do. And, um, but when someone like DDP reaches out to you, and I just said, yeah, I'm taking it. I'm taking your help. And pro wrestling is my life still. I mean, it's still a big part of me, and it always will be. But with DDP, he's like, let's, let's give back to the fans. You know, let's get you back up and running, get you back on the road so we can do an ODB's meet and greet everywhere. You know, and I'm giving back too. It's a, a personal phone call from me saying thank you very much for getting my food truck up and running again an eight by 10, signed autographed sauces, um, t-shirts by me. Hell, I can even do a nice little old uh, wrestling gear. Depends how much you donate on that one. <laughs> yeah, cause I didn't realize how much I was loved in the wrestling world after all this. And it opens your eyes up. You're like, wow, there's some good ass people in this world, you know? And even if it's just, uh, a thing on Twitter, Instagram, a Facebook message, you know, saying you guys care about me and, you know, can't wait to see the food truck up and running again, you know. I thank you all for that and everyone that will be donating, I thank you all. I mean, that means so much to me, I, you know, and it's, I'm gonna give back. I will definitely be giving back because I want this ODB's meet and greet all around the country. I want every single wrestling fan to be able to uh, come see what they help build because this new food truck, ODB's Meet and Greet 2, is gonna be all about the fans and the wrestlers. So just getting goosebumps right now. 
But this new adventure that I will be on with the new food truck, it will mean so much more to me because it will be, because the fans helped me get to where I'm gonna be at soon.